Ah, uh, it's gone pretty quick. Yeah, it's um, it's an interesting one because when I turned pros, I felt super ready and everything was in order and I felt, I was anxious, you're nervous and that's just normal. And that's part of the reason I wanted to turn pro a little earlier because if those, if I was 22 and I had to learn these lessons at 23 and 24, then I'm a little behind the eight ball. But if they happen a little earlier, then I'm ready to go at 19 or 20, then that's okay. So it's, it's been a lot of fun and I've learned a lot for sure. To now be competing against Jason Day and Dustin Johnson and everyone who was there, it's a bit of a different feeling. Um, and you just start to realize how good you have to be because those courses are so hard. But even this year in the Canadian Open, um, for me, I'd never really been in the mix on a Sunday at a PGA Tour event and to play well the first two rounds, back it up on Saturday, not do what I wanted on Sunday, but at least be there and feel. I played with um, Jonathan Vegas in the last round who won. Uh, to sort of just be around all that it sort of made me feel, okay, this isn't, I, yeah, sure, I didn't do it for four rounds, but I did it for three and I know I've got that standard in me. I think we do a great job in Australia though of preparing everyone for that. I mean, you've seen Brett's been able to play great in some starts. I live with Curtis Luck in, uh, in the US and he's been doing great and it's good to have a companion because I did it last year on my own. So it's nice to have someone just to hang out with and to just, yeah, practice with and stuff too. The stuff we have back home really prepares you for that and getting opportunities in pro events before you turn pro. I mean, amateur golf in Australia is so fun. All those interstate series, my first one was when I was 11. Uh, so many good players on all those teams between Brett and Lucas and so many others. Um, that was a lot of fun to be a part of and you just become pretty close with all the amateurs in Australia, which is when you get out in your pro career a little bit, it helps to have that bit of bonding with everyone from Australia. I had a bunch of time off, was going to come home anyway. I sort of actually was doing a uh, Inside the Ropes podcast and Clates mentioned it and he said, you're going to come back for the Vic Open. And I sort of asked him, on, I was like, what, what date is it? And he told me Feb 1 to 4 and I was like, hang on, that might work pretty well. The Golf Victoria was great and being able to get me into the tournament and everything. And so it just worked out absolutely perfectly. A, a course and a tournament I played well at. And I remember as an amateur, in I think it was 2015, I had a good event that week and got myself in contention. So love 13th Beach, both courses. I think a few of my mates are gonna come down from school and stuff too. So it's just, yeah, it, it'd be amazing to be able to win back home. And it'd be my first professional win, which would be, yeah, it'd be an honor to have it in Australia. Not only that, but I think it'd, it had set up great to have the option of ever coming home to play any of these events over here, which is a lot of fun. And hopefully the schedule pans out, I can play the ones at the end of the year as well. I'm always gonna have a place here in Australia because it's, I mean, it's home. I went to school here, all my mates are here. It's always gonna be home, so it's gonna be nice to have a place here. But in the same breath, me living over there, it'll be nice to have my family a little closer because these two years have been hard. Not many 19 year olds move out of their, move out of home at 17 or 18 and get to start getting in the real world a little bit. So for me, it's been a lot of fun. Sure, I would have loved to be on the PGA Tour right now. I know that's coming and I've got a lot of hard work to get there, but um, yeah, it's all about enjoying the journey of getting there and there's been so many great experiences and I know if I keep doing the right things for long enough, that starts to pay off in terms of status and hopefully a bunch of wins as well. Thank you.